Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Monday, December 16th, 2013. I am Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, this is the last week of my holiday gift sale, so check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you want to give the gift of a one-on-one -on -one reading with me to you or a loved one. There is so much happening now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Actually, what's about to happen? We've got a full moon coming here in the next 24 hours because technically the full moon is going to happen at 4 a.m. Eastern tonight or in the morning tomorrow. But more importantly, this is Uranus about to come direct and this is a lot of other things brewing. I just want to say this. This full moon is not your typical full moon. This one is about ushering us into a new chapter in our lives. We are about to step into a heavy portal here. This is a portal of karma with relationships, a heavy portal of what we're manifesting, destiny and plans, how our heavy feelings are about all these things that are combined. I mean, this is deep. This is deep. It doesn't get much deeper uh, than, than really where we're going next. And there's nothing to be scared of because I think this is about clearing. This is about clearing heavy amounts of karma. This is about us reaching our destinations, our plans, our destinies. So this is something to look forward to. There's going to be a lot happening. I think there's going to be a lot of drama a little bit, you know, because that's just what the planets say to me is this is not going to be boring. I think we've gone through, yes, a very deep and intense couple months, but nothing like what we're about to go through. They're different. So don't think that you're going right back where you were. This is us really facing a lot of where we've been going deep, but with this full moon, and especially today, Monday, there are a lot of questions. Which direction to turn? What to manifest next? What's happening in this relationship? Where am I going? <laughs> I think is a main question for a lot of people. But I think it goes bigger into, oh my gosh, where do I really want to take all this? I think we can't get lost in where we're not going or where we're going and we need to rise above now. We need to enter this new portal with the ticket of where we're going in our lives. That's what a full moon in Sagittarius and Gemini is about. It's about us not getting so caught up on every little thing, but making sure that we are perceiving things correctly, that we are opening up the shutters and looking outside at the horizon. But this is us stepping into a radical new and important chapter with Uranus about to go direct here in the next day. There is a lot of unpredictability around this corner, but more importantly, there's a lot of epiphanies. There's the electricity we need to shock us back into our life. This is a lot like a big jolt coming here in the next 48 hours. So I'd prepare with what you really want to explore in your life, but more importantly, what your perceptions and what your belief structure wants. And getting to the bottom of your questions. I think it's important to ask questions in your life right now because with Mars at a very weird angle to Chiron and Neptune, this can be really confusing of which direction to turn when you mix Libra and Pisces together and when you mix a weird angle like these two are making or these three, yeah, it makes it for a little confusing road. And that's okay because the next three into the eight months as Mars is gonna go eight months on this journey through Libra in a retrograde, Venus is gonna go retrograde in Capricorn. I mean, this is huge karma big adjustments and big turns here for a lot of people to manifest new adventures and new journeys and to manifest more of the destinies that you want. So this is what we're waiting for, really. It's just, there's a lot to happen and change to get us to where we want. And I think I want to make that clear to people. There is a lot of change that's about to happen here in our world, in our personal lives. And, and this is an, an extreme, you know? So, Prepare yourself. I think it can be very good. I think it depends on your perception. I think it depends on how your mind is working. We got to get to the bottom of our minds, get to the bottom of our questions. And you know, with this full moon really making a weird angle to Venus, this is about those partnerships, about those relationships. Are we able to 
step in our destinies right as well because with all this Capricorn energy in the middle of this full moon, you know, and that the stationary position and all this karma and Pluto really pushing forward, getting ready to watch Uranus trigger this, this light on. I mean, this is a moment of prepare yourself before you get caught up into this next new cycle. I think events have already been happening to present you with where this next cycle could go. But what is the destiny that you want to step into? How big is it? What do you want it to be? And it's time for you to step in with that ticket, that that's the seat you want to this next show. That that's what this full moon's about. It's, it's more than just Sagittarius and Gemini. It's more than just questions and belief structures. It's more than just mutable energy, which is change. It goes deeper into emotional energy for this one because where our mind and perceptions are going is based off this Saturn and Scorpio, which is based off this Jupiter and Cancer that are connecting. It's based off this really deep and powerful shit that's happening inside. And the turn of events that are about to happen in our relationships, which I can't deny, Whenever Venus does this and is about to go retrograde, huge relationship stuff. I mean, every Venus retrograde. Go back, May of 2012 into June of 2012, I guarantee you had some stuff going on. Before that, I'm, pro I'm, I'm doing my own math, but it was October 2010, November 2010 when it was in Scorpio. And guess what? Venus where it went retrograde is where Saturn's highlighting now, where all this energy in Gemini happened with Venus and stuff, the full moon's coming in today. More importantly, Venus last time it retrograded in Capricorn happened in December 2005 into January 2006. There is so many aspects of our lives which are all replaying into combining into this wild new movie we haven't seen yet. But it's bringing up your past. Jupiter and Cancer wants to bring it up Huge, huge. And in relationships, this is getting to the bottom of ones I think we've been dealing with a long time. A long time. So, wow. This is a huge karmic showdown that's coming up. And I think it's good for you to listen to your feelings deeply and take time before you make games or before you start rattling off things because this is a moment in our lives where we want to step in secure. We want to step in with a plan and we want to step in with our highest vibrations first. Taking the higher road, one of peace, one of compassion and love and positivity. And this is Sag and Gemini. The one downfall of these two signs is this is where things can go way, way, way difficult as far as attitudes, can go as far as communication. This can also be in perceptions, belief structures. This is like, <whistles> as it's ready to come into this huge fireball storm, as there is a huge T-square forming and there's gonna be a lot of action and drama and events happening here in the next three months, I guarantee you. Actually, to be honest with you, all of 2014 is very lively. So I don't think it's going to have a, though we'll say, you know, on the channel here, when those moments will be, when it's a little chill, but we're coming out of a chill period actually, and coming into an intense period. So I prepare in this full moon, it asks you, what are you ready to manifest? What is this destiny? Where are your perceptions? What are you thinking? Where are you going? Where do you want it to go? And are you lost? I know there's a lot of people and I, it's undeniable that it doesn't matter who you are right now, there, there is a lost part of yourself right now. You don't know which direction to turn. You have a grip, you have a knowing, but there's still, still this, I can't describe it. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unconscious conscious thing, right? You, you step in into unconsciousness and you come back to consciousness. I'm gonna go this direction. Oh, and then what? And then I don't know. Oh wait, I do know. It's a very up and down, left, right. When you deal with Libra and Pisces like this, it's all over the place. And when you're dealing with Mars here, and when you're dealing with Neptune here, it's, we've never dealt with this before. We've never been in this zone as a human being. Nobody on the planet has, you know? So to have Neptune in Pisces with Mars in Libra in a, in a really karmic zone like this, you just don't, you just don't, this is, this is, this is an event 
that we're about to step into here. And it's happening starting today as we are the line's ending and we're walking into the box office. So I prepare. Tomorrow we're going to go deeper into this when Uranus moves direct. Today it's about making sure your emotions, your feelings and everything that you're ready and you're, you're, you're cleared and you're in the right position mentally, spiritually, perception wise. You're ready to step into that identity. You're ready to break down those barriers, but you're ready to do it on the high road, the peaceful road, the compassionate road, and you're ready to step into your power correctly and use this next window as this is the one where you know it's a level to reach that can take you to the levels that you've been dying to get to so this is for the people who want the work who want to take it to the next round who want to take their karma to the next place this is it this is what you were waiting for and we're about to step into it here at the beginning of this week. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. So if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me for Christmas, I have my holiday gift sale up. Thank you guys for all of your support. And I will see you guys tomorrow.